Hello, it's Tim Holman here, day 11 of COP26. It's the Cities, Regions and Built Environment Day today, but the headlines are focused on the US and China surprise announcement yesterday evening, pledging to work together on action to try and limit global warming to one and a half degrees. Together, they account for more than 40% of global carbon emissions, so it's significant to, for them to be working together, especially on things like reducing methane emissions it, it, and within the 2020s as well. The other main topic today is the ongoing negotiations on the final climate agreement that's due to come out of COP26. This needs to be signed off by almost 200 countries and there's still a long list of issues to work through by the negotiators. There's three main topics still outstanding. The first is sort of technical issues around the carbon markets and credits that's been going on for a number of years, how these should be regulated, including things like carryover of credits and how money should be distributed across different countries. The second is finance, the amount wealthy nations should be contributing to support the decarbonisation of developing countries, those that are disproportionately affected by climate change. And lastly, it's the size of the ambition, that's the speed and amount of emissions cuts that are needed. All this on a backdrop of yesterday's far more pessimistic forecast of the current commitments at COP leading us onto a, a path of much more catastrophic warming than previously had been forecast. All this needs to be wrapped up by the end of tomorrow. I think it's going to go late into the evening, so we'll have to wait and see. Um, I'll be keeping you posted.